Fox 2 follow up, an area that has been the focus of years of Fox Files investigations, is getting a makeover to prevent another catastrophe. It's in East St. Louis, near a street that some say rarely dries. Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes takes you to the spot he's repeatedly exposed to reveal what is finally being done about it. For years, we've raised the alarm about neglect and disrepair at this pump station on State Street. And now a new state-of-the-art system is here to help tackle the flooding crisis. Two new pumps that East St. Louis City Manager Robert Betts says came all the way from Sweden. And we're just excited that the residents out in the Parkside area will feel a little safer uh, when it, the rain season starts. For years, we've shown you nearby Terrace Drive and talked with residents continuously flooded out. Let's start fixing on the problems now. Resident Marnita Sanders spoke out more than a year ago. We're not requesting for East St. Louis to repair the pump stations. We're demanding that. We I'm caught up with her again today. Right. It's about time. It's been years and we have had flood after flood after flood. Others like Tanette Day, who we spoke to in 2021, gave up and left town. It's hard to have a community when you know when you, the threat of flooding your house is going to happen anytime it rains. So. This should give our citizens and residents throughout the city uh, some peace of mind. East St. Louis committee woman Kim Shanklin said she's been fighting for this since taking office in 2019. So many people have lost so much. Our leaders are supposed to take care of us. Officials warn it can still flood. The new pumps may speed up relief, but flood water still must go somewhere. It'll be pumped into Harding Ditch which needs to remain clear of debris for proper flow and residents on the street that never seems to dry can expect being approached with buyout offers. You got people that don't want buyouts. Me personally, no, no, they, you just, you can't be, you just can't be forced to move. She hopes maybe the new pumps will be enough. They're expected to be completely installed and ready by the end of the week. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.